Hello, IGN PC gamers. I am Dan Stapleton. I'm Jared Petty. And uh, this, what you're looking at right now, is the old, or I guess the current, uh, mm -hmm. Steam Big Picture UI. Uh, that that is, that, you know, if you if you download Steam right now, uh, install it, don't do anything. This is what you're going to see uh, when you launch Big Picture mode. Yeah, Big Picture is kind of an important part of my life. Uh, this is what uh, this is how my living room home entertainment center is brought together. Well, that's about to change, Jared. Yeah, that's what I hear. Because uh, this this what we're what we're seeing right here, like. This right now, when you want to play, when you want to play a, a, a PC game on your on your big screen TV, and uh, sit back with a, a controller and and uh, you know run things from there, uh, this is how you do it right now. Right. Uh, but uh, Valve has just rolled out a, a beta version of this that completely changes it, makes it look a lot nicer than this. Yeah, it's an opt-in beta, right? I mean, at it this is, point, yes. you you have to let them know that you want to be there. But and uh, actually, this uh, right here is what I've been using up till now. So I'm really excited to see what they've changed because Big Picture is handy, but there's a lot of things that could do better. And uh, it's an evolving product, and I think there's a lot of room for improvement. Yeah, and you know, it, it it's nice uh, as it is, but like it. Oops. Ah. <laughs> Let's not buy Dying Light right now. Okay, no, not, not, maybe, not maybe later. Maybe yeah, later. it's a fine game. It's but nice, not today. but you know, this is this is kind of <laughs> like I, I like the the moving background and everything. It's got all your active games, but but it's it's still a very kind of Spartan looking thing. It's not it's you know it's it's all text based up up on the, the menu here. It feels like something that was adapted from a computer to a television interface, and, and, and that it's still got a lot of computer DNA. I'd, I'd really like to see something that feels a little more dare I say it constantly for the living room <laughs> experience. So. All right. Well, we get here. stand by. We're going to go opt into the beta, and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and uh, I think you might notice some differences here. This Things is, have changed quite a bit, yeah. yeah. This is the beta, uh, new beta UI that you can opt into in your settings menu. Um, and, uh, yeah, this, this is the home screen where just a moment ago we saw just, you know, uh, just... Three black text. buttons floating in space. Oh, what, the first thing that, 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 that jumps out at me are those bottom uh, panels with the resume playing, friends are playing, don't forget to play. I, I don't mind recommendations in, in my main UI as long as they're not obtrusive, mm -hmm. so the don't forget to play, yeah, that's fine. You know, I, like don't, don't forget to play. What's great about that is that that is addressed specifically at the, the kind of cliche of like, oh, I bought all these games and I never played them. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is a game that, that you know, we've, we've downloaded on this, on this computer or we've gotten on this account uh, and then just never played. So it's telling you, hey, you you own this. You should try playing it. I love that. That's that's very clever. And it's been a very long time since I showered with my dad. So I mean, <laughs> now I have a reminder that that's important to do. And yeah, friends are playing. That's fine. I'm good with that too. And the resume playing, of course, that's nice. Just have that one button pop down, go, uh, pop right back into your game. Where yeah, you I mean, that, that's that's probably the the most frequent thing you're gonna do is like yeah. I'm gonna go back and play that thing I just played. Um, but you notice like this this has all the icons uh, in the lower right there saying the top one is is like this is compatible with controller or this one is not. This one requires a key keyboard uh, and the icon underneath it is uh, saying in order to play this you have to download it oh, and this one says oh it's already it's already downloaded and ready to play right the old uh, controller and keyboard uh, things were there in some places but now they've brought them right up to the front so you can see them all the time and I love the download to play thing that's that's really a nice feature and then of course we got uh, the new menu systems up here yeah and up, up top at the very top you've got you know, your profile management up in the upper left here then you've got uh, your messages, your music. I don't think we have any music on here to, to play, but yeah, you could no. you could have you know they, they're steadily building media stuff into Steam. Right. Um, yeah, they've added movies now. Yeah, that that'll be. I guess I I just read that uh, that if you own the Mad Max movies they were selling on here, it's actually broken in there right now. Oh really? I didn't uh, know that. Yeah, but uh, they're they're planning to fix that. Uh, you just saw a pop up. Uh, you got your downloads menu. This is actually just a, a subset of the library menu. Uh, so let's see. And then your settings. I'm I'm actually really impressed by the the depth of the settings menu they've mm -hmm. they've built into here. There's pretty much nothing you can't do here that you that you can do from the main uh, the the desktop UI. Yeah, and they've given it room to grow. The old screen was was really kind of crowded. This one I, I I like better. You've got a little more space to move around on it. Now what happens when we actually go in and take a look at say our store or our library? Yeah, so I mean, it's it's pretty much the same in the store. Yeah. Um, you know, it was it, that's always kind of what it was going to be, right? right. Uh, they haven't they haven't done anything radical there, mm -hmm. but uh, the library I think is where the they've improved yeah, a lot. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. So, I, so yeah, it's more dense, but it's dense in a really smart way. Uh, it, it, before it was it was kind of Spartan, and everything was really spread out. There was a lot of wasted space. Now we're just right here with what we want to play. It's all here on the screen, easy to look through. It it, it could have ended up too crowded, but I think they hit it just. right. Right. So I, I have noticed, like, well, at least when it's first loading up a lot of games, like we have, we have a huge library of games on this account, obviously. Um, but 
it, it does get a little bit chunky sometimes when you're scrolling down, but that smooths out after a little bit. Right. I think after after it loads all those all those images uh, to where they need to be. But like if you're just in here, like that's nice and smooth. Yeah. It, there's just 20 items there. Um, so it's 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 a really nice smooth UI, and yeah, I'm sure they'll the, you know that's a beta thing. I'm sure they'll fix. Yeah. I hope they'll fix. Um, it's a nice smooth UI. It's it's dense with with information yet attractive. Right, and I really like that. It, it, they could have ended up with that kind of uh, that kind of horrible. You remember window, when Windows first switched over to tiles and everything was uh, just kind of yeah. Poof. Windows eight was yeah. a disaster. Uh, this is this is much much smarter. Uh, I like it. Yeah, and you know th this <laughs> this is you know not designed for touch. I don't think. Yeah. Uh, this is designed to be to be used with a controller from across the room. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not really designed to be used with a mouse, but you can. I mean, you still can do can totally do all this stuff with the mouse if you want to. Yeah. The, actually, I like the fact the boxes are big enough. At home, I use my controller a lot, but I also occasionally use a, a small keyboard with a, a touchpad on mm -hmm. the side there uh, as sort of a remote control. And these uh, these icons are just about the perfect size because you don't have quite as much precision with that as you do with a mouse. But this is uh, close enough to work. And then uh, here we have these filters yeah the filters so, yeah. I, I really like a lot because you can you can go into you know if i'm playing with a controller i can just look at the ones that are that are actually you know going to support that uh and you can say oh i just want to see the ones that are they're installed it's a little bit redundant for the thing above it for the installed category on the left but uh yeah that one works uh also if you have if you have um a bunch of uh, uh category categories that you've done you, you know you've tagged games yourself for for uh whatever genre you want you can uh, filtered by that. We don't actually have that on this account, but it's handy. Yeah, it is handy. And uh, after seeing this, I think uh, I'm going to go home and uh, add the beta now. I, I've been using uh, I've been using the old version of this for a very long time, and uh, I think uh, I like everything I'm seeing here more than what I had before. So Plus, let, we're let me still show underwater you. with weird ambient yeah. sounds. Let me show you another another neat thing. Oh, what do we got? So you go in here, and you know, as I was saying, you've got you can do pretty much everything you can do from the desktop client. Nice. Uh, you can do. Uh, you can enter a beta uh, from here. You can uh, validate the install. No kidding. Uh, you, oh, that's You can so set good. launch options, which is pretty crazy. Um, you know, like if you yeah. want, if you want to disable startup screens and stuff like that. Or you want to go back and try to get an old game to start the way you want it to. Or yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, in games, let's see, which is the game that would have uh, Dota 2 would have the Steam Workshop. Like you can install mods from here. I think you could do that in the in the old UI, right? No, but, but I like the way this is laid out better. I really do. Uh, so. Broadcasts are all built in, mm -hmm. and it's a, a nice way to watch stuff. Wow. We could watch a defense of the ancients if we wish. <laughs> This, oh, uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh! Now, now we, now it looks bad. Let's see. Oh, we, we broke the internet. No, okay. Well, some, something's wrong. Maybe we're not on the right network. Maybe, here. maybe we're not Dota in right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Technically, Dota Two is not Defense of the Ages. That's 2. true. That's right. They, they can't use the name, right, or something like that. I don't yeah, know. That, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, uh, yeah, so yeah, that's a that's a brief <laughs> look at the the new Steam Big Picture UI. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I think you know this is especially with the the Steam Link uh, coming out, where I, you know you can you can stream games from your PC to your TV yep. easily. Uh, coming out very soon, uh, November, I believe. Uh, like this is this is a great time to have an upgrade for for this. You know. Okay, but but could have used improvement system. No, this is a welcome addition. And if you guys haven't tried this before, uh, the uh, the PC in the living room thing, the, this interface, uh, even the old version, really was quite effective. It was a great way to, to run kind of a, a a home entertainment center, uh, use your PC in the place of a console, which is what I do a lot of the time. So I have tried out. Uh, yeah, you might and enjoy it. just to, to remind you, anyone can opt into this right now. You yep. just go into your your settings menu and say you want to opt into the beta. All right. Well, there we go. All right. Well, thanks, guys, and uh, happy PC gaming.